I did my dermatology residency at Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center in New York City between 1982 and 1985. And during that three-year period, the residents had to spend six months on an inpatient service where 30 to 35 psoriatics were hospitalized at a, for a month at a time. So each individual was hospitalized for a month at a time in which they would get state-of-the-art treatment, which was developed in 1920 in the Mayo Clinic by the Geckerman brothers. The treatment was called Geckerman therapy, where each day each individual would get crude coal tar applied to their body for about two to three hours. Actually, tar decreases the proliferation of the epidermis, so there is a um, medical reason for this. Then afterwards, they would sit in a bathtub that was with tar solution to get some of the tar off. Then they would shower and they would put Vaseline or Aquaphor ointment on their body to soften their skin up. And afterwards they would take another shower and they would get increasing increments of ultraviolet light, ultraviolet B light. Most of them would be clear and they would go home and somewhere between six months and a year, they would come back for the same treatment. And that was pretty much the best risk-benefit treatment that existed for psoriasis at the time. It kind of mimicked going to the Dead Sea, which is also an effective treatment for psoriasis. While I was there, I obviously communicated to a lot of patients and I realized their despair. So I developed the first group therapy session because they were in the hospital, they had the time, I got a, a psychologist, psychiatrists involved to sit with them once a week and talk about their chronic disorder. I then moved home to East Windsor, New Jersey and started my dermatologic practice on June 28, 1985 at which time I wanted psoriasis treatment to be a major part of my medical dermatologic practice. So I bought light boxes and actually I developed what's known as psoriasis daycare center where people would come in for a modified Geckerman therapy. They wouldn't have to stay overnight but for six hours a day, five days a week, they would get tar, tar baths, moisturizer cream, an increasing light and after about four weeks 95% were clear, and six months to a year later, they'd come back for the same treatment. Really, my heart went out to these people because I saw how they suffered and how I really wanted to make them better. There is no cure for psoriasis, even in 2016. At this point in time, psoriasis is still considered a chronic immunologic disease just like Crohn's is an immunologic disease that's chronic, just as people that have hypertension that have a chronic disease, or diabetes, it's a chronic disease. Sometimes you can put psoriasis in remission, and sometimes it's a capricious disease. It can wax and wane. Some people can get better and then get worse when they undergo a stressful event. And so, therefore, it really needs continual treatment. Yes, to a large part. Um, topical therapy um, is utilized for localized psoriasis. Topical therapy, localized psoriasis, let's say mild psoriasis, when you have psoriasis, let's say 3% or less on your body. But for more uh, substantial psoriasis, we, could, we still use ultraviolet light and tar. Uh, at night, but now the tar we used is much more elegant, aesthetically pleasing, doesn't smell as much, it's not thick, um, but the combination of tar and light does work. But we've developed, fortunately, many new medications um, that were, we were involved also in clinical trials with major pharmaceutical companies and the development that of recent medications over the last 20 years like Enbrel or Atenercept, Adalimumab, Humira, Ustekinumab, Stellara, uh, Ixakizumab, Sikakinumab, um, 
These are two of the newer medications and also an oral medication, Otesla, that has been also recently developed in, in con conjunction with the older systemics, acetretin, methotrexate, and cyclosporin. So we have many new agents in our toolbox that can really improve the quality of life with relatively safe you know, when somebody comes into my office now that has really bad psoriasis, I can really look them in the eye and say, you know, I can help you. And I know 90% of the time, I can really help them.